It's been quite some time since we've stepped foot in the town of Hawkins, and the longer we have to wait, the more the anticipation builds for the next instalment of Stranger Things. I'm Matt Rogers, and this is everything we know so far about the highly anticipated Stranger Things 4. In the wake of the fourth season's second teaser, rumours are running wild regarding what it could all mean, and why we're getting an apparent flashback at what looks like Dr Brenner's laboratory. But it's still cryptic enough to be anyone's guess. But let's start with what we know. First, let's talk casting. Now, you'll be pleased to know that the entire main cast is returning, including all the kids and parents that have been fortunate enough to survive this far. And if the first teaser is anything to go off, David Harbour as Hopper will also be returning. But new cast members, as well as their character descriptions, have also been confirmed, with upside down photos of them being posted on the Stranger Things Twitter. Let's go through them. First we have the truly underappreciated Jamie Campbell Bower, who will be playing a caring man who works as an orderly at a psychiatric hospital. Eduardo Franco, Jonathan's new BFF, and a stoner who proudly delivers delicious pizza pies for Surfer Boy Pizza. Mason Dye, a handsome, rich athlete who is dating the most popular girl in school. Joseph Quinn, the head of the Hawkins High official D&D club, the Hellfire Club, which we will talk about more later in the video. Robert Englund, a disturbed and intimidating man who is imprisoned in a psychiatric hospital for a gruesome murder in the 1950s, but most of you may know him already as the original Freddy Krueger. Sherman Augustus, an intelligent, no-nonsense man who believes he knows how to stop the evil in Hawkins once and for all. Tom Lashiwa, a smart and charming Russian prison guard. Nikola Juriko, who is a seedy and unpredictable Russian smuggler who loves bad jokes, cold hard cash, and crunchy style peanut butter. Some interesting descriptions there, but I'm sure all will be a welcome addition to the already talent-filled cast. Now let's talk setting. The first three seasons were steadily moving through the 80s one year at a time. The rapid growth spurts of the pubescent main cast is surely a factor that needs to be considered, but, but the website popbuzz.com made the observation that the producers of the show included in one of their casting calls that they were in need of vehicles from 1987 or older, so that's pretty telling. And the leaked set photos show some hints at 90s style fashion and costuming, so I'm sure we aren't far off the 90s. Personally, I'd love a 90s based season. Mind you, I wouldn't be surprised if they filmed some of season 4 whilst filming season 3, which may result in a time jump mid-season, which is not unheard of in multi-season shows. Speaking of filming, Stranger Things 4 began shooting in January 2020, and then for obvious reasons went on an indefinite hiatus. It wasn't until nine months later that shooting was slowly able to resume, which will obviously have a major effect on the release date. Looking at previous seasons, there was one year between seasons one and two, and two years between seasons two and three. With this logic, we would expect a 2021 release date at the latest, but with the delays and not even an estimate from Netflix, it's looking like we won't be visiting the Upside Down until 2022. Now let's talk more theoretical aspects of the season. The Stranger Things writer's Twitter is the main source of most rumours, and we know from this picture there will be nine episodes, as we see what appears to be nine scripts in a pile. The writers are known to troll fans, but if they can be trusted, we have the titles of the first three episodes. Number one being Chapter 1, The Hellfire Club. Chapter 2, TikTok Mr. Clock. And Chapter 3, You Snooze You Lose. Now that doesn't give us much to go off, but we know the Hellfire Club is the kids' Dungeon and Dragons club, so we might be going back to season one vibes, when we were first introduced to the boys playing this game, which foreshadowed many of the monsters ahead of them. In regards to storyline, we are waiting on answers of what happened to Hopper after the events of the season three finale, and if Eleven's powers will return to defend Hawkins from the Upside Down that was disrupted by the Russians. My guess is the second teaser is hinting at how Eleven will recover her powers by reliving the horrors that Dr Brenner put her through. We also have to remember that some of the kids are now geographically separated, which I found a weird choice as they are no longer a single unit. But I have complete faith that the writers know what they're doing. I personally think season three had some of the best writing in the entire series. 
But how about the future of Stranger Things? Well, the producers have confirmed that after season four, there is, quote, very much the possibility of a fifth, end quote. And with the success this show has brought Netflix and the effect it's had on pop culture, a fifth season would not be unwarranted. But I footnote that by saying only if the story is planned out with the number of seasons in mind. But before the arrival of Stranger Things 4, I've put together a Stranger Things 3 recap to refresh your memory of the events from last season. But if you want a fix of the entire series, I've also got you covered with my mega recap of all seasons so far. Be sure to check them out and subscribe for more Stranger Things updates as they become available. Ringing the bell will also ensure you never miss a bitchin' thing. But what are you most looking forward to in Stranger Things 4? Is there any returning or new cast you're most excited to see? I'd love to hear what you think, so let me know. I'll be down there in the comments. If you subscribed during this video, then welcome aboard. And if you had a good time hanging out, then spank that like button. This is Matt Rogers, and that is all.